Addition of an alcohol across an alkene. This is going to add an H and an OR group, depending on what alcohol we use. And we've got two methods that carry this one out. We've got acid-catalyzed addition of an alcohol, totally uh, analogous to acid-catalyzed hydration. Just instead of water, we're going to use uh, an alcohol as the solvent instead. And then finally, alkoxymercuration demercuration, totally analogous to oxymercuration demercuration, but using an alcohol instead of water in that first step. Uh, we'll find out that with acid-catalyzed addition of an alcohol, it does go through a carbocation carbocation intermediate, uh, and therefore it is subject to carbocation rearrangements. We'll find out it goes Markovnikov and that there is no stereoselectivity. We'll find out for alkoxymercuration demercuration, just like oxymercuration demercuration, it goes Markovnikov, uh, and it is uh, got anti-stereoselectivity, but again, it does not go through a carbocation intermediate and therefore is not subject to rearrangements. Now this is part of my brand new organic chemistry playlist. I'll be releasing these lessons weekly throughout the 2020-21 school year. So if you don't want to miss one, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification. You'll be notified every time I post a new lesson. All right, the next reaction we've got to cover is acid-catalyzed addition of an alcohol. So in this case, it's very similar to acid-catalyzed hydration, but instead of water with acid, we add alcohol and acid. And if adding water and acid is acid-catalyzed hydration, maybe we call this acid-catalyzed inebriation or something like that. Uh, but in this case, you can use any alcohol. In this case, I've chosen methanol. So, and the idea is that now we're gonna add an H and an OR, where the R, in this case, a methyl group, just depends on which alcohol you use. So we've added an H on the less substitute side and the OR on the more substitute side. And that is Markovnikov addition. Now, it uh, turns out this also goes through carbocation. In fact, the mechanism is nearly identical to acid-catalyzed hydration. Uh, and so pretty much everything's the same. So there's no stereoselectivity. So, but we do have to worry about potentially carbocation rearrangements, just not in this example. So let's take a look at that mechanism. So I've got the mechanism of acid catalyzed hydration below. So we can see the parallel here. So, and just like uh, when you put H2SO4 in water, it dissociates completely to form H3O plus. So it does the same thing in alcohol here as well. And so, Instead of protonated water, we've got protonated alcohol here. And again, first step, any alkene reaction, our alkene is the nucleophile. And in this case, instead of H3O plus being the electrophile, our protonated alcohol is the electrophile instead. But totally analogous here. Cool, that H ends up on the less substitute side. That way we get the more substituted carbocation. So, and you also form a molecule of your alcohol. And just like we have water attacking the carbocation, the next step, we just have the alcohol attacking instead. And just like with acid catalyzed hydration, when a neutral nucleophile attacks, it ends up with a positive formal charge and you just have the solvent deprotonate. So in this case, same thing, positive formal charge, and we'll just have the solvent deprotonate. And the solvent in this case is not water, it's just another molecule of the alcohol. And that takes us to our final product here. And again, like a true catalyst, Ours is not consumed in the reaction, and so our CH3OH2 regenerated before the reaction's done. Cool. Totally analogous to acid catalytic hydration, same mechanism, not worth spending any more time on. All right, the next alkene addition reaction we're going to look at is alkoxymercuration demercuration, and uh, very analogous to oxymercuration demercuration, but again, instead of adding H and OH, now we'll be adding an H and an OR, all depending on which alcohol you used in step one. So the only difference in the reagents is instead of using water here, we'll pick an appropriate alcohol. All right, so it's still Markovnikov, so H on the left substitute side and the OR, in this case OCH3 on the more substitute side, and it's an anti addition in case you form two chiral centers. So when you do backside attack on that mercurinium ion uh, leads to the two things that have added being on opposite sides. All right, so let's take a look at that mechanism. So I've got the mechanism for step one of oxymercuration demercuration here, and we'll see it's exactly analogous for alkoxymercuration. And just like with oxymercuration demercuration, you do not have to know the mechanism for step two here. So 
So mercuric acetate is going to dissociate to a small extent, just like it did before. So, and our alkene is the nucleophile in step one and will come and attack the mercury. But again, mercury's got a lone pair and says, don't form a carbocation, I will attack back and we'll form a three-membered ring that we'll call a mercurinium ion here. So there's our mercurinium ion. And instead of having a water molecule come and attack, again, this has taken place in methanol instead. And that's what actually is going to come and do backside attack here on the more substitute carbon, opening up our three-membered ring. Cool, and again, we had a neutral nucleophile attack, so forming a positive formal charge intermediate here, and we'll deprotonate, but instead of water being our solvent, again, methanol is our solvent. Cool, and that's the end of the mechanism of step one. We've accom accomplished alkoxy mercuration. Cool, and then again, second step, when we add NaBH4, would just be the demercuration and replace the mercury there with a hydrogen, getting us to our final product. That's alkoxy mercuration, demercuration. Again, mechanism exactly analogous to oxymercuration, but instead of forming an alcohol for a product, we're gonna form an ether as a product instead. Now, if you have found this lesson helpful, consider giving me a like and a share. A couple of the best things you can do to help promote the channel. And if you're looking for the study guide that goes with this lesson, or if you're looking for practice problems, I've got quizzes and chapter tests and uh, practice final exams, all part of my premium courses on chadsprep.com.